Welcome back, my quesadillas, to a brand new video. We back. We back. With the story time video. Let's just get right into it. So today's story will be about the time I lost my virginity. So yeah, this is uh, another one of my sex capades. One of my sex expeditions. Where do we begin? So this will be a entertaining story. But hopefully it could be informational or inspirational. So I lost my virginity when I was 18. So I was in senior year. This was when I was very popular on the internet. In school I was uh, quasi popular. I didn't have that type of typical popular but people knew who I was because I had that numbers up, baby, you know what I mean? But yeah, I created my own hip-hop club, having fun. Yeah, that was when I started being late to class. I started smoking. I would go to school high a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got detention. I think it was my first time getting detention. My only time getting detention in that school. So I had to go in on Saturday and just sit in the computer lab. And there she was. My future prom date. We was chilling. After detention, she offered me a ride home. So I was in the car with her. And that's where she told me that her ex had just broken up with her. I think she shed some tears. A couple days later, me, my brother, and my dad, on one evening, we were playing a tabletop RPG called Warhammer. My dad's a geek. He likes games and stuff like that. So yeah, we grew up playing with him. And so we was playing in the living room. And that's when she came in. We'll call her Bailey. Yeah, we'll call her Bailey. Um, so Bailey came in. I think she came to see my brother. Because her and her friend would always like crush on my brother. Me and my brother would always be chased by the ladies. Now that I think about it. But she came in and she created a character. We made a character for her and she played with us. When we finished, me, my brother, and her, we left in her car, picked up one of her friends, and we ended up in McDonald's. It was there in McDonald's where the conversation about prom came up. I already thought I had a date um, with a girl named, we'll call her BB. I thought I was going with BB, but she had just told me recently that she didn't want me to ask her publicly. But I got the wrong idea and I thought she just didn't want to go with me. So when we were talking about prom and McDonald's with the four of us, me, my brother, Bailey and her friend, it was just like, oh, you just got dumped. And I was just over here, so. My brother and a friend, and they're just like. And so we made it happen. We got some fries, spelled out prom, and potatoes. And yeah, I had a date. So we dressed up, went to prom, danced. After we went to her house, we were in her bed. The lights were dark. I think I was eating leftover canes that we had got before the dance. And I think after a while, she took me home. So during that season, we hung out. I remember one time she hit a curb and her tire broke and she had to call her ex-boyfriend to come and fix it. And I was just like in the passenger seat, looking up on wiki how, how to do a, <laughs> how to fix a tire. Like I'm doing something. I don't even think I did. I didn't even do that actually. I just watched. But maybe a week after prom. Maybe three days. Maybe three days after prom. Maybe two days after prom. Maybe the day after prom. We were hanging on the bed, on her bed, during the daytime, and um, I was trying to figure out things to do. So I was like, "You want to get some weed?" She said, "Sure." So I hit up my plug. 
had that arranged. Before that though, I remember being on the left side of her bed. And while I was on the left side of the bed, she pulled out her phone and showed me a real good booty pic. A real good booty pic. That angle you can't go wrong with. You know what I'm talking about. Ladies and gents. So yeah, I remember seeing that and um, it didn't spark anything in me. I was just, uh, see if it was now, I would look at the situation as two young adults, male and female, on a bed together. And she's showing me something privy and vulnerable. But back then, I didn't see it that way. I was just, I don't know. So yeah, a little while later, we're watching Boss Baby. I think we're waiting for the plug. I was on the right side of the bed this time. We're both laying down. We're literally like in husband and wife range. Here just, and that's when she asked me, if she could have my hoodie. I told her sure. And she said, what do you want for it? And that's when I knew. <laughs> so I'm like, a kiss? And she said, anything else? It's the big day. It's the big day, Kay. That's what I was saying to myself. So yeah, we made out for a bit and uh, got in that pastrami milk. You know, feeling the grooves and getting used to how things are around here. I had my arms out like this. And I, and I was just noticing I'm getting real tired. I had to give myself leeway like I was doing a plank test. Like, no, no. I'm trying to make it easier or something. And while I was doing that, I went soft. Mayday, mayday, we going down. I had to call it quits. I had to throw in the towel. Yeah, I said, my bad. And uh, she said, it's all right. The next day, uh, she came over to my house. It took me a minute to get it up, but once we got going, you know, I was locked in. I knew what I was doing with my fingers too, so. I gave her that treatment beforehand. So I was in there. She got a call from her coach. She said she had to go to cheer practice. I said, hold on. And I was trying to get there. I was trying to get there. And I could not get there. And then I got there. So yeah. It was good. And then the relationship fizzled out like they all do. And that's the end of this story. Just to throw in a little drama for this soap opera. BB, the chick that I was going to go to prom with. I hung out with her sometime after prom. And she was asking me about, about that. She was like, thought we were supposed to go together and I was like what I thought you said and she said I oh, meant I just didn't want to make it like a public thing and so I was like I got hoes I got hoes that's not really an integral part of the story but I just threw it in there I love you BB she's one of my closest female friends That's the story of how I lost my virginity. I got many more stories to share, so let me know if you want more. I've been screaming on Twitch as of late, so go follow me on there. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I love
life. I'm good, I'm good. 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 I'm good.